Hey y'all, Scrambles the Death Dealer here. About to show you my game room. And it's also my bedroom. It's full of stuff. So anyway, let's flip it and flip it and rip it. Man. So my console setup here. Got everything from the NES. Got our super our retro bit super retro trio got a nice bootleg green dog from russia in there is a tiny tune buster bus loose ninja turtles on a, the original on the game genie retro bit snes controller nice tape holder that also holds sega genesis games yeah. Yep. Cassette tape holder, perfect for Sega Genesis games, except for the EA ones and all that. The big ones, the Accolade and all that. Got our Sega Genesis. Unfortunately, my Model 1 does not work. Got our P Yellow Super Nintendo. Got a GameCube. Got our Game Boy Player. Certain NES official guide or ultimate whatever. Yeah. Got a Wii, we got a Wii U, we got an Xbox One S. Got our Switch. Switch is for them bitches. Pardon my mouth. We got some controllers. And some nunchucks. Got this cool labeling machine with super expensive tape. Wii U Pro, or no, Wii Pro controller. Crown Royal bag with a rock band microphone. Classic controllers. After batteries. Here's my batteries. And got our Big HGTV, and we got our nice 27 inch JVC CRT there, and I've got those running through a 8 way switch box, so I can plug up to 8, you know, 8 composite sources into there, and then I got a 4 way splitter, so which is how I can run it to the t two TVs. Got some extra controllers stashed away in the Ottoman Empire. Oh yeah. Look at those Nintendo controllers. The Taito Arkanoid controller. Fancy. Got a gray zapper. Bunch of Super Famicom controllers. Sega Genesis controllers. The ones with the red buttons are for the Sega Mini. Those are my SNES Classic controllers. I don't think I actually own any official Super Nintendo controllers. I got all these Super Famicom ones, but they're real short. We got our Bomberman 5-way adapter. So player 1 plugs into the first port. We got 4 extra ports, and it looks like Bomberman, so that's cool. And our mini consoles. One day I'll get the cabinet to go with this. Nice little stool here. My computer setup we're working on. Some audio gear. Got some Guitar Hero and Rock Band guitars. Some At Games, Atari games. Boxes. There's a Babam. That Rock Band 3 keyboard that actually supposedly works on real keyboards. So I'm going to try to use that as a MIDI controller, maybe. We got Toki the Cat. Hi, Toki. 
And then, we've got our old school shelf. We've got our NES cleaning kit. It's got mold on it, I think, so I put it in this plastic bag just in case. We've got our Scott the Waz mysterious game of crypticism, which got the box there. And the actual game is, let's see. Oh, there we go. We got our Pac-Man case NES dust sleeve. Our Scott the Waz mysterious game of crypticism. Maybe one day I'll reveal what it actually is. But we got, starting from the top, NES games. Wally Bear and the No Gang. That's right. Just say no or you'll end up like me. Got Abadox, Battle of Olympus, Blaster Master, Bible Adventures, Chippendale 1, Double Dragon 2, Faxanadu, or Fax, I don't know how to pronounce it, Gyromite, Akari Warriors, Jackal, Karnov, Kirby's Adventure, Little Nemo, Dream Master. I don't actually have the game for Zelda 1 yet, but I got the case because I got the case for Adventures of Link. Little Samson, this is a repro. Got Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4. I do not have 5, but we got a spot saved for it. We got 6. Got Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2. Super C. Super Mario Duck Hunt. Super Mario 2 and 3. Super Mario Duck Hunt and Super Mario 3 are the only actual games that I have for Nintendo from when I was a kid. And I also found Sonic 2, which I had to put in a new case because I screwed the old case up. Because I wanted to put stickers on the, on the game case. And I ripped the, the plastic sleeve off of it and had to tape it back on. First I hot glued it, but... Got a new case for it. I love customgamecases.com. They're great. That's where I got all these sweet NES cases. They're nice. Ah, I just dropped it. Oh, well. Got an NES 4 score. Oh, yeah, what do we got? F-15 City War Puzzle. I have no instructions and no idea how to play it. And Venice Beach Volleyball. Trog. Had that one as a kid. I bought Tiger Heli because it was labeled Tiger Hell on eBay. And I thought that sounded funny, but it's not a bad game. TMNT 2, the arcade. Great game. My rampage that glows in the dark. Case or the sticker was torn off, so I bought a new uh, replacement sticker and a nice glow in the dark cartridge. And just put the ROM chip in there. It was a fun little restoration project. Life Force, we got Baseball, what's this one? Oh, Legend of Kage, that doesn't work, I'll have to fix it one day. We got Bases Loaded, two RC Pro-Ams, Magic Johnson Fast Break, Arkanoid, Adventures of Dino Ricky, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, Super Mario Brothers, Freedom Force, this. There's my DuckTales. Great game. Oh, we got all kinds of fun stuff. Bubble Bobble. Another copy of Bubble Bobble because the first one was finicky. Big Nose the Caveman. 501 NES. 143 and 1 NES. Oh, we got all kinds of good stuff. Maybe we won't go through all of them. It'll take way too long, but there's a little. Another copy of Double Dragon 2. Rad Racer. Some random instruction manuals. There's the actual original card of Rampage. You can see it's 
tore up, so we made it look nice. Got some bootleg NES controllers that fit in these cases. We got some Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. These are custom game cases. Nice plastic cases for Game Boy. Pokemon My Ass for Game Boy Advance. Nice little hack, bootleg, whatever you want to call it. A couple DS cases. Got our uh, Super Famicom. I think that's a Satellaview game with a little card in it. I don't know too much about this. It will not fit in my Retrobit Trio, so luckily I... This uh, SNES, I removed the tabs inside, so it'll fit Super Famicom games. We see Street Fighter 2 in there. R-Type and Super R-Type 3, Super R-Type from Retrobit. Got the Joe and Mac Retrobit collection. Got a bunch of Super Famicom games and SNES games. Castlevania 4. Got our SNES mouse. And we got oops. Got our Super Nintendo Game Genie. Super Game Boy. Nice things for that too. Pretty cool. All the all three Donkey Kong countries on Super Famicom, Doom. I actually got my son into playing Doom. He's into Xbox and <laughs> I let him play the Super Nintendo Doom. And he's like, it looks like eye cancer, but I could see it being fun. Lethal Enforcers for Super Famicom. Uh, this is the cool R-Type collector's box. We got Super Bomberman 2, Super Famicom. A cool uh, fan-made uh, Super Mario, new Super Mario Land. It actually, supposedly it supports up to four players. My brother and I play this. It's a full of, uh, like full color graphic upgrade on the Super Nintendo of Super Mario Land. It's a, supposed to support up to four players. I'll have to try that with my Bomberman uh, adapter. Sega Game Genie in a Nintendo case. And then our Sega Genesis collection, you know. What could possibly go wrong? Kid Chameleon 2, fan made version. Yes, we have Shaq Fu, Rocket Knight. This is pretty cool. A J Cart. It's got a third and fourth player adapter built into the actual Sega game. This is a French Mega Drive version. It should technically work on my uh, Retrobit Trio Plus, but we'll have to try that out with four players. Sonic 3. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, Street Fighter, Subterranea, Toe Plan Shooter Collection. Just got the fancy box. And then all the boxes next to it. Two copies of Toe Jam and Earl 1 and 2. We won't talk about why. Xeno Crisis, 
Unfortunately, I had to get a bootleg version because I think they stopped selling the originals for a little while or something. Yeah, that's a bootleg too. It was much, much cheaper than a complete in box. Zombies ate my neighbors. Whatever. No regrets. I don't care. Got our Q-tips, of course. Get some 91% alcohol for cleaning. Got to have... Game security bits and all that. Messing with cartridges, you might as well have that. Some extra Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. These are the video. Got some like Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon videos and stuff on Game Boy Advance cartridges, but they won't work on the Game Boy Player, so. The only way I can watch these is to borrow my son's old DS with a Game Boy Advance spot on it. What do you even have here? Nickelodeon Unite? I don't know. The Cat in the Hat for Game Boy Advance. More like who shat in the hat. This game is horrible. I used to threaten the kids if they were bad, they'd have to play that for five minutes. Made them behave. Uh, Japanese Tetris. I don't think my original American Tetris works, so Japanese one's fine. The Kirby of some sort. Japanese. I don't know, one of these is Kirby's Dreamland, and one is some kind of Kirby puzzle game. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> game, Boy, game Boy Color version of Mario, or Super Mario Land DX. That is totally legit. Look at the top, it just says game. And it's got Stalin Mario on it. Yeah. What's what's not legitimate about that? Bootleg Pokemon Yellow. This one actually says Nintendo Game Boy on the top. I can't get the light right. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Whatever. If I buy it used off somebody, it's not like Nintendo or Game Freak or whatever's making money off of it anyway. So I really have no moral qualms against bootlegs. So whatever. If you disagree, that's fine. We're all entitled to our own opinion. That's cool. And over here we got... Handful of GameCube games. We got Donkey Konga 1 and 2, Madagascar, Mario Party 4, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2. That's a good one. My Simpsons Hit and Run and Road Rage don't want to work. I'll try to get them resurfaced. Got Pac-Man World, Sonic Gems Collection. Got my Hori Pikachu GameCube pad for the Wii. Plugs into the Wiimote. 20 Hearts, Wolf Link, Amiibo. Yeah, it's not official either now, is it? Fun little Mario Kart Live Circuit. And one of my favorite things in my collection, my Lethal Enforcer's Pink Justifier gun that actually works for both the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom, and the Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, and Sega CD as well. The pink one plugs into the blue one via like a telephone jack. Actually, let's pull that out. That's pretty cool. 
yeah, here's our Genesis justifier. And on the bottom, it's got a little jack to plug the Player 2 controller into. There's the Super Nintendo version. Well, mine's the Super Famicom. Either way, they're compatible. Look at that beautiful pink one, man. That is nice condition, too, man. kind of sad the limited amount of games you can use them on they only work with lethal enforcers one and two but i have both of those for sega and the super famicom lethal enforcers one i don't think they ever made two on this on the super nintendo but yeah, our buddy thomas oh yeah we got some switch Wired Pro Controller and a wireless one. I think these are all the Power A ones. Whatever, they're fine. Perler beads, those are fun. I wish I actually had the ROM chip for this. I just made a mock-up one of Wilford Brimley Battle, which is a hack of River City Rampage. But that's just for decoration. NES Advantage. My original Nintendo 10 game case. Switch box. My daughter's Switch box. My Switch collection. And two unopened copies. Super Mario 3D All Stars. Because there's a big panic at everybody who's saying, oh, there's gonna sell for hundreds if not more dollars so i don't know sooner or later i'm gonna crack one open and play it but i'll hang on to them for a while we got our wii games my, my wii remote collection I gave my Princess Peach one to my daughter. Got our Wii U Pro controller in black and white. The white Wii U pad. Black one's downstairs. And I have a second Wii U downstairs. Some more Wii and then into the Wii U games. I can honestly get rid of a lot of this stuff. I don't really play a lot of these games. There's some of the Wii games and stuff like that. There's some classics I'm definitely keeping. This is my sad collection of Xbox One games. We got Sonic Mania. That's pretty good. Doom Eternal. Doom Slayer's collection. And Goat Simulator over there. And I have sonic cd the christian whitehead version on that's one of the like two or three digital games that i have i hate digital i want a disc or a cartridge or something man i'm old okay i don't care 37 and i'm an old man that's fine with me and our rock band and guitar hero games Got our little CRT TV here. I still got to try that out with light guns. I think it should work just fine, but we all remember Thomas from our last one of our last videos. But um, yeah, some random fun stuff. Yoshi, a turtle shell, stuff my daughter got me. Got all our Mario stickers and things. Scott the Waz. Atari stickers. Some Amiibo. I think this was like a McDonald's or Burger King toy. Let's see. 
Made for McDonald's 2016. Yeah, my daughter gave me that one. Lego set. You know. So. That's all, everybody. Peace. Alright, so dude, I can't believe I forgot to show this part. This is my pegboard here. I love my pegboard. Got our Activision Wii shotgun. We got our orange zapper. Just like I had as a kid. U.S. Marines knife. Some other controllers and such. Replacement buttons and stuff on uh, NES pad. It's our Russian green dog. In a little teeny box. Pretty neat. And how could I forget Crazy Bus? This game literally got me back into gaming. I know, it's it's sad. I got it for my brother as a joke because he used to have a skateboard when we were kids. And he called it Crazy Bus. It was painted on the bottom and everything. And I got back, I got into AVGN after my wife passed away in 2017. And, you know, I was in a bad spot. But that was a. I got that game for like six ninety nine from China for my brother, and that made me dig out our old Model One Sega Genesis. And then after that broke, I had to get this Model Two. But without Crazy Bus, I wouldn't have gotten back into games, man. Three times the crazy bus. This is beautiful soundtrack. the school bus so mine doesn't sound like an actual beep I don't know why it does not sound like a horn but you could still honk the horn you can go back forwards you can even go backwards. Look at that. Alright. Peace, y'all.